Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of UC Solutions. Today, I'm going to be using this strange contraption to show you the difference between outdoor foam and the foam that you receive in your outdoor cushions. There's a big difference, and the reason why I'm doing this video is because we've all had the same experience, right? We set out our outdoor foam waiting, or actually outdoor cushions, waiting for the perfect day to enjoy them. And finally, that day arrived. I mean, it's been raining for weeks, and finally, you get to enjoy your outdoor cushions. But as soon as you sit down, you instantly regret it because now your bum's wet, you know, and you have wet PJs, and that's not fun because all that rain has been retained inside the foam. So can this simple problem be fixed with a simple solution by changing out your cushions? Because if your cushion doesn't look like, or your foam doesn't look like this, that could be a big problem. And let's see exactly how this handles the water versus that, okay? Sounds good? Well, let's get into the experiment. Okay, so before I get to the experiment, I do wanna share my thoughts when it comes to the actual design and what you should look for if you're in the market for outdoor furniture or a new cushion for your outdoor furniture. Here is the cushion cover itself, and I flipped it around so you could see, I actually had to take out the threads here to get the foam out. There is no zipper access when it comes to this cushion cover which isn't great. Now you could be thinking to yourself, well, I'm not gonna be taking off the cover. I don't really want to change it out and stuff like that. And you know, if you're in that camp, that's perfectly fine. You can clean the cover with the foam on, but if you ever wanted to take the cover off, I don't know if the cover is machine washable. Some of them, some of the manufacturers say, yeah, throw it into the machine and um, you know, clean it that way. You don't really wanna do that with your foam, so you, you would want to take the actual cover off. If they don't have a zipper, it's gonna be more challenging to get it out and especially to put it back in and then sew it closed. Another thing is, I don't care what the fabric is made out of, it's not gonna be 100% waterproof. So either, even if you have this foam or that foam inside your cover, it will get wet at some point with a torrential downpour. The fastest way to dry it out is to open up the cushion cover to allow air to get in there and then dry out the actual foam. And if you don't have a zipper, that will be challenging to do. The other thing is the Daycron that it had on there, really cheap Daycron. I mean, this you'd probably use for quilting. I'm not a quilter, so I, I can only assume, but it's so thin. And that's what I mean by cheap, it's so thin. It's like an eighth of an inch thick. So don't know why they use this for a cushion, but um, if this is a indication of the quality, I can only imagine what the foam's like. So this is not the best. And the other thing is they did not attach the actual Daycron to the foam. So they just wrapped it and then threw it inside the cover, which is kind of strange. You at least staple it or, you know, do like four spots of glue or something, but no, they just wrapped it. So. In any case, let's go ahead and get started on the actual experiment. Now, I'm going to try to evenly distribute, this is eight cups of water, I'm gonna to try to evenly distribute it across the actual cushion to get as much contact with the cushion as possible, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit for three minutes and then pull out this water, pour it back into the jug and see how high the level of water goes up because right now it's at the very bottom of the tape, okay? So again, pour it evenly, distribute it, pour it back into the jug, see if there's a difference. The one thing I know is gonna be different and I want you guys to pay attention to is how quickly this will drain, okay? So let's get started with the experiment. All right, so now let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm gonna start really slowly but closer to the camera and bring it back to me, okay? Now, if you notice something interesting is the water is pooling on the top of the actual cushion, which is a good thing. You might be thinking to yourself, hey, that's good because that way it'll just roll off and then it'll dry out faster. The only problem with that is right where I'm actually pouring the water, it's going right into the cushion, all right? So after a while, I am gonna be really 
slow when it comes to this. I'm going to allow it to seep in as much as possible. I want to give it that time because obviously when it rains, it just doesn't rain just eight cups in one little area. It's going to rain for hours of the day and it's going to be evenly distributed across the cushion. Okay. So I'm going to be really diligent with the, with the distribution of this water. And try not to make a big mess. Okay, so you can hear it going into the cushion. All right, we're almost out. All right. There we go. So I'm going to let this sit for three minutes, let it all soak in, and then just move it out of the way. Actually, probably just move out this container, pour it back into the jug, and then we're going to jump over to the other foam. This is the actual outdoor foam and see how that handles it. And the reason why I keep calling it the actual outdoor foam, this is indoor foam, okay? Even though it's made, not made, it's not made to go outdoors, even though it was put in an outdoor cushion by the manufacturer, this is not supposed to be used outdoors. They may say, well, again, the cushion cover, it's waterproof. It doesn't matter. It's going to get wet. So let's go ahead and let this sit for three minutes and we'll be right back to show you guys what we collect. Okay, so three minutes has elapsed and now we have collected a good amount of water, which is good. It's still dripping and you can actually see the saturation and the discoloration actually that the water makes with the foam. Kind of looks like somebody got a little sunburn and didn't, wasn't well covered with sunscreen. So let's go ahead and start pouring and see how much we are able to collect. Okay, so that's all the water that passed through the foam. As you can see, has not made it back to the bottom of the tape. So we're gonna do a direct comparison with the other foam. And I do wanna bring the camera over here so you guys can see what I'm looking at up close. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is what I wanna show you guys real quick. You can obviously see the discoloration when it comes to its being saturated, you can see around my fingers, it pools up with water every single time I push. And that's what happens when you sit down and then you become wet, your bum, not good. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the real outdoor foam. Just slap that right there, it's a little damp. Okay, there is still a little bit of water right here. Now this drained after the three minutes. We're only gonna allow for three minutes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this elsewhere. Okay, so now we have a completely dry container. Here is the foam. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing like I did for the other foam. Try to evenly distribute this across the entirety of it. One thing I want you to notice right away Listen to that. It goes straight through. You can see it with the GoPro inside the actual container. This thing acts pretty much like a strainer. The cells inside the foam are much larger than the indoor foam. And I'm actually pouring it quite a bit quicker because look at that. It just goes straight through. Now here's the interesting thing about this. This foam allows the water to drain through pretty quickly. And I'm going to show you a little trick afterward to get even more water out of it compared to that one. So we're going to, first of all, leave this for three minutes first, see how much actually drips out of the foam, 
go ahead and measure how much was actually drained out of the foam. And then I'm going to show you a quick tip when it comes to getting even more water out of that, which is a lot easier than with this cushion or that cushion. So this cushion is a lot easier than that cushion. Let's get to it. Okay, so it has been three minutes and all I'm gonna do is remove the actual container and not touch the foam, okay? Because I don't wanna disturb it and more water come out. So, put the funnel, try not to make a mess. Pull it straight out. It's funny, the size of the container reminds me of when I was a kid trying to pour like a two liter of soda. It seemed huge. Good memories. Oh, lost a little bit of water. Got distracted reminiscing. Okay, there we go. Now, I wanna get you guys a close up. Lost a little bit of water there, but it's like, I don't know, tablespoon? Shh, don't tell anybody. Let's get a close up to see exactly what the difference is. All right? Let me set these out there for you guys to see. And to make it easier. Okay, so that is the difference. You have the bottom tape representing the new level and the top tape, the very bottom of it, representing the old level, okay? So it's the top of the bottom tape and the bottom of the top tape. Zoom in so you guys can see that. So it's a pretty good amount of difference between the indoor foam used as outdoor foam versus the real outdoor foam. Pretty wild. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I wanna show you a quick trick so you can see the difference real fast between those two. I wanna show you a quick trick that comes with this foam. This is how easy it is for it to drain. So once one is evenly distributed across there, at the very bottom of the foam, there's gonna be little water droplets there just hanging on for dear life. Uh, you're just gonna knock them off real fast by lifting up, you see that coming out, and do a few hits of the foam and the majority of the water comes out, you already have that much more water, let me just pull that out, that came out just by banging the foam against the grate. So that's pretty interesting. It's really easy for the foam to drain. Now put that in comparison with this one. I wanna see how much, this one's still dripping. Not much water is coming out of that. You're gonna to have to wring this thing and you can see how much water is still in there, which again, that's why when you sit down, your bum's wet because it's retaining most of that water. Where with this, even if you were to take your cushions before sitting down, bang it out, you get the majority of the water out. Okay, so that wraps up our video. As you can see, this outdoor foam really does allow the water to come out very quickly when it comes to rain, precipitation, dew, which is very good. The one thing is though, I don't want this to be the end of this experiment. It is for this video, but I like to revisit it later on with another video where I make a cushion cover for both of these and make them exactly the same except for the foam. So we can have a real world test to see which one will dry out faster. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna try to make them perfectly weighted to each other, douse them with water, then go ahead and put them underneath a heat lamp for let's say an hour, 30 minutes. I'll see which one is best and then see how much they weigh afterwards. I think this is gonna do really well. We can see that it drains really well. We can see that it has a lot of space for ventilation, which will help with the drying process. This one does not. This again is indoor foam pretty much that was put as an outdoor cushion. And uh, this, the foam itself, the cells are really close together. So it's not gonna do very well, especially in the middle when it comes to drying out. So if you guys wanna see that video, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, give that like button a click. And I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Subscribe for more content. 
We will be back next week, and uh, we might be going back to the actual series, or I might have a special surprise for you guys, but we'll have to see. It depends on scheduling. Uh, it might be coming in, may not be, but we'll see. So I look forward to that, and I'll see you guys next week.